Okay. First um, class at home. I'm going to read Fox and Socks. This book is a tongue twister, and Miss Sarah Beth is going to trip all over her words when she reads it to you because it's a tongue twister. You guys should try it. Actually, what I want you to do is I'm going to hold these pages really still sometimes. I want to see if you can find at least five words that you know how to read, and then I want you to see the word. Instead of yelling it out, you have to sing it like an opera singer. So, Fox, F-O-X, is Fox, just like that. And your parents will love your beautiful singing voices. So, I want you to do that. That's one thing that you have to do. But I want you to tell me what part of the book this is. The cover, bravo. Oh, I just heard someone say spine. I did, I heard you. You said spine. And if I wrote this book, then I am called the author. Very good. This book will have a beginning, a middle, and an end. See if you can figure out what those parts are. When you are talking about the story afterwards or um, thinking about the story afterwards, I would love for you to see if you can figure out what middle, what the beginning, middle, and end are. Also, I want you to get your composition notebooks when we finish, and I want you to write the name of this book, Fox in Socks. And then I would like for you to draw a picture of something in the story. Now, there's some silly stuff in here, so you've got to really pay attention. Silly stuff. Silly. Also, this book has a lot of rhyming words. So, we're going to do something with rhyming words afterwards. We're going to be talking about foxes a lot. And we did talk about foxes some already. We had Mr. Randy come and he had the animal pelts. And we got to pet a fox pelt. And we talked about um, the type of fur that it has and why. And we also talked about the fact that a fox was a mammal. So I want you to think about how they have their babies and how they feed them. We talked about how a fox is nocturnal. And I know some of you remember what that means, that it means that they are awake at night and not during the day like us. And then omnivorous. I know somebody's going to remember what that word means, and it does have something to do with their food, but I want you guys to see if you can remember what omnivorous is. And if you can't, um, mom or dad or grandma will help you Google it, and you can find the right word. So, warning, I do have lots of kitty cats, and they may cross in front of me at some point while I'm reading. Also, this wall behind me, has pictures of you guys on it. See that? I hung your pictures up so you can all actually be here with me. All right, Fox and Socks. Remember, sing the words you know if I hold the page still. This is the title page, and the title is the name of the story. Small too, small too, small too. Ready? Fox. Socks, box, knocks. Knocks in box, fox in socks. Knocks on fox in socks in a box. I think I heard someone sing. Socks on knocks and knocks in a box. Box in socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. If you're having a hard time finding words you know, try to find letters you know. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack, then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. The words are getting trickier. 
And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks and bricks on blocks. Bricks and blocks on Knox on box. Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. <sighs> Clocks on fox tick. Clocks on Knox talk. Six, 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 sick bricks tick. Six, sick chicks talk. <sighs> Please, sir. I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir. Mixed up with the chicks and talks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. I guess this is about the middle, where Knox has decided to tell Mr. Fox that he just cannot do any more. Tongue twisters. He said his tongue was tired. Did you hear that? Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks. Two socks. Whose socks? Sue's socks. See Sue? Who sews whose socks? Sue sews Sue socks. Who sees who sew? Whose new socks, sir? You see Sue so Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews? Crows close. Sue sews crows close. Slow Joe Crows sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Sue sews socks of fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crows sews knocks in a box now. Sue sews rose on Slow Joe Crows clothes. Fox sews hose on Slow Joe's Crows nose. Hose goes, rose grows. Nose hose goes some. Crow's rose grows some. Oh. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr. Knox, sir. What a shame, sir. So Mr. Knox doesn't like the game, does he? Do you think Mr. Fox is going to keep playing it? find something new to do. Here's a lot of new blue goo now. New goo. Blue goo. Gooey gooey blue goo. New goo gluey glue. Gooey. Gooey sounds like a mess to me. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir, you sir, choose to chew, sir, then the goo goose chew, sir, do, sir. How do you feel about chewing goo? Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it, and I won't chew it. Very well, sir, step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bim comes, Ben comes. Bim brings Ben broom. Ben brings Bim broom. Ben bends Bim's broom. Bim bends Ben's broom. Bim's bends Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom breaks. Bim's bent broom breaks.
how many B's do you see on this page? That's a lot of B's. Ben's band, Bim's band. Big bands, pig bands. Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms. Ben's band bangs and Bim's band booms. Have you ever wanted to be in a band? What instrument would you play? I played the clarinet when I was younger. I wasn't very good at it. Pig band, boom band, big band, broom band. My poor mouth can't say that. No, sir, my poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well then, bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. I'm not sure the odds of Mr. Knox ever finding something that Mr. Fox says easy to say. Do you think it will be difficult? Oh, golly. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes Luke Luck likes. Luke Luck takes licks in lakes duck likes. Who has ever licked a lake? Do you see them? I can't blab. Such a blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox, now. Come now, come now. You don't have to be so dumb now. I don't think he means that mean. I think when he says that he means he's going to help him. Should we find out? Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees. Three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Okay. If fleas sneeze first, tell me how big is a flea? Very tiny. Very tiny. Fleas are very tiny. What do you think a flea sneeze sounds like? Because an adult sneeze sounds like, oh, yeah. Do you think you could even hear a flea sneeze? I think a flea would sneeze like, or, what do you think? That's good. Stop it. Stop it. That's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well then, Mr. Knox. Let's have a little talk about Tweedle Beetles. Mr. Knox, is he angry or is he happy? He is not happy. What do you know about Tweedle Beetles? Well, when Tweedle Beetles' flight is called, oh my goodness, a Tweedle Beetle battle. A Tweedle Beetle battle? And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle puddle battle. And when the Tweedle Beetles battle in the paddle with the paddles in the puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle puddle paddle battle. And where's and? It's very big. And when the beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle. In a beetle battle puddle, it's a puddle in a bottle. They call this a Tweedle Beetle Bottle Puddle Paddle Battle. Muddle. And when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, then they call this a Muddle Puddle Tweedle Piddle Beetle Noodle Bottle Paddle Battle. 
And there's more, you guys. You ever fed a poodle a noodle? But poodle and noodle, what do they do? They rhyme because they sound alike. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Socks Fox. Uh oh, I still don't think that Mr. Knox is happy. When a fox is in a bottle, where a Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottle Paddle Muddled Duddled Fuddled Wuddled Fox in Socks, sir. That is a lot. Fox in socks. Our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. Mr. Knox is at least being very polite now, isn't he? He used his manners. He said thank you. Oh, he's really done. Mr. Fox looks pleased with his story. He's happy. Now, is your tongue numb? It certainly is a little fuzzy, foggy, because those were a lot of words to say, and they were a lot of rhyming words, because fox and socks and beetle, battle, paddle, it was just a lot. But I want you guys to find five words, and you can remember that number, because you used to be five, and there's five fingers on each hand. So I want five words that rhyme with fox. Walk around the house, see what you can find, and then you need to ask um, a sister, an uncle, an aunt, a mommy, a daddy, a grandma, somebody standing around, maybe even little brother, probably not a little brother, to help you write it down. And you're gonna write your name and your date, and then you're gonna write the title of this book, which is, Fox in Socks, neatly on the top, and then underneath, I want five words that rhyme with fox. Walk around the house and see if you can find them, um, ask for help, and then you can write them down, and try to say the letters that make up those words out loud. Also, you can find rhyming words of your own and put socks on your hand and tell stories like puppets. Sock puppets. So, that was our first book on YouTube. And I know you guys like YouTube. And we're going to read some more things. We have some more stuff uh, planned. But you can um, send me text messages and questions if you want to and I'll be back and I am gonna ask how you guys are doing because I miss you. That's why I have your pictures back here behind me and I hope you're doing well and finding lots of fun things and games to do. If you need some ideas, you can ask me because I have lots of ideas and my kids are too old for really cool, fun outside games. And think about a fox, figure out what an omnivore is. Some of you already know and we remember that nocturnal means that it sleeps at night and not during the day. Um, some other nocturnal things that we talked about are bats. Bats is a good one. There was something stinky that we talked about that was nocturnal. Very stinky. And for a little change, you can use your opera voice to sing for the rest of the day because that would be fun. You can say things like, I am Nora Day and I'm going in this room. And, um, my name is Ephraim and I'm finished with these toys. Or, I am Patrick and I'd like to watch more Bakugan. So you can use your singing voice as your speaking voice and that would be entertaining. You could see how long you could keep it up. I'm sure everyone is going to love it. Fox and Socks, name and date, five words that rhyme with fox. Okay, I'll see you guys soon.